Hey guys, so today in this video, we are going to try to break in into a Ubuntu installation. So let's check this out. Uh, first of all, a disclaimer, uh, this may or may not work depending on your configuration. Mainly it won't work if the root directory is encrypted or uh, it is having some encrypted home directory, then you won't have access to the home directory. Uh, yeah, so. Uh, if you don't know about these things, don't do it. I am just showing you how to break in to a Ubuntu uh, installation so that if you ever forget your Ubuntu password, then you can do this, uh, do it with this method. Uh, I am actually showing you Ubuntu here, but it can work for any distro. This method works for any distro. First of all, the password for this user is basically 12345678. This is the password. We know it. Perfect. So first of all, we have to lose the password. To lose the password, what I can do is open a terminal. Uh, open a terminal and basically create a password. So and uh, yep, here you go. This is. This is basically uh, MD5 sum of something which we don't know. So let's do a password. 1234567 paste paste. Uh, I haven't saved it. This is going to be a sacrificial move. Log out. Done. Now we are logged out of this computer. So what is the password? Can I paste? No. Do I know anything? No. So, yep. This is officially DOS. So, let's get started by recovering this OS, shall we? So, first of all, we have to power off this. So, let's power off this. And uh, now we have to insert a disk. So, as this is a VM, I can just insert disk uh, basically by you know uh, doing this storage then disk now I am just selecting a Ubuntu uh, disk uh, it can be anything you just need a terminal basically and some some supporting applications which you will know uh, now you have actually selected the disk perfectly and now you have to change the order of the boot you have to change it such that it will always boot from the disk instead of the hard disk so yeah uh, okay so boot priority is already uh, optical so yeah and also uh, checking if this is uh, enabled so yeah uh, I don't know if it is enabled but I do know for a fact that I can just do uh, connect yeah, yeah, yeah it is connected so and I just went in the boot manager and uh, now I'm booting to the disk directly okay here I want to try Ubuntu because I have to have a live boot so let's do the try Ubuntu feature that is basically uh, all layers. Uh, it will be a temporary file system, and yeah, all the changes we make is kind of you know uh, reverted back. But the thing is, if you mount hard drive, it always stays there. So yeah, uh, first of all, yeah, don't mount this. Uh, you need a terminal. So open a terminal here, and now with this terminal, what you can do is you can just do lsblk and here uh, you can kind of see that there are two partitions we are, the only partition we are interested in is slash dv slash sda so what we can do is we can just uh, mount slash dv slash sda uh, slash uh, mnt and let's give a cd uh, yeah, yeah sda2 and let's give a sudo and uh, let's cd to that directory and here you go this is like the uh, this is the uh, root partition of 
the other ubuntu so let's uh, get this quick so first of all you have to do some bind so my mount hyphen f bind proc uh, uh, slash proc into here so slash mnd slash proc i can just type uh, proc but some people will you know uh, will get this switched up so i did i don't want that to happen so let's do it the absolute way so device sys needs to be mounted now temp i'm just doing a bind because you know uh, i can also do a, a mount minus t temp fs and uh, mount minus t proc and those kind of things right but i don't want it to be complex just mount bind this thing now we are going to ch root so yeah ch root operation not permitted it is actually totally possible so, uh, so uh, you have to also specify a, a interpreter here so here you go now you are in the uh, in your in your system the install system as root so as long as you have root access you can actually change any uh, any any users password so what i can do is password abraham and here i can just enter one two three four one two three four so in a new password i i'll be entering will be always one two three four and this is it just go back you mount minus r to be recursive and uh, mnd uh, maybe slash mnd because you know the other problem where people will be trying to do mnd from some other directory so yeah uh, perfect 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 it is all perfectly done now what i have to do is i have just restart this thing so uh, power off restart and uh, yeah remove this from the drive and press enter and uh, virtual box did it for me already so no issues on that uh, yeah now it is booting from the artist so this is the OS which we kind of wrecked by changing the password hopefully uh, this time one two three four will perfectly work let's see okay so yeah vmware tools not vmware virtual box tools so yeah that has been detected okay here is a test you can see this one two three four pressing enter and it works perfect so yeah what did you learn? If your if your system is not encrypted, it is not secure. It is just secure as how how long as your anyone don't have uh, access to your computer. So if you do something wrong and police is into it into you, then uh, they will seize your hardware. Uh, they can potentially break into your system and they won't basically uh, they will just take a snapshot and you know do some stuff but uh, the thing is we can break into any Linux distro with the root method so yeah uh, there are many other methods like you know using grub uh, you can just change some uh, kernel parameters you know in it to basically uh, sh and you'll be getting a root prompt uh, there, there are a lot of methods but the thing is it only works for particular configuration this works for every configuration unless and until it is uh, encrypted so if, you, if it is encrypted if your home directory is encrypted never try this if you try this what will happen is next time you boot it will say uh, enter your old password to decrypt and it will be having a encrypted directory you know home directory dot txt or something like that so yeah this is done
so hope you enjoyed this video and if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and if you didn't like it yeah you know, the other button also works uh, and while you are just subscribe to my channel and also uh, I do have so many videos like this so you can just go ahead and watch those videos uh, if you like but yeah those are really random videos <laughs> yeah that's why ultimate random right so see you around